Today we are going to discuss KVPY solutions 2018. This is question number 18. So, in the question they have given xk, xk is greater than k power 4 plus k square plus 1. So, xk is are all going to be positive. Now, we have to find whether this equality is true or not. So, before trying to find this whether it is true or false, let us we have a fact we have RMS is greater than or equals to AM. So, that means we have something like A square plus B square plus C square and so on divided by N is greater than or equal to A plus B plus C and so on divided by N where N is the number of terms and A, B, C are all positive numbers. So, now using this fact we can try to find whether this inequality is true or not. See on the right hand side we have something like this. We have 1 into x1 square plus 2 into x2 square plus 3 into x3 square and so on. 2018 into x 2018 square. So, basically we can write it as x 1 square plus x 2 square plus x 2 square. So, splitting this into two terms and then here, here splitting this into three terms x 3 square plus x 3 square plus x 3 square and so on. The last term will have 2018 terms. The last term will split into 2018 parts, 2018 terms. So, we essentially have this and the number of terms here will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and so on plus 2018. So, we have something like this 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus and so on 2018 which is nothing but capital N, which is nothing but capital N as given in the question. So, this seems like these terms are very similar to this in RMS. You have A square plus B square plus C square and so on divided by number of terms. So, this quantity under root or this quantity is surely going to be this quantity is going to be greater than am of all these if you see am of all these am of x1 x2 and so on you will have x1 plus x2 plus x2 plus x3 will come three times and so on divided by capital n which is nothing but the left hand quantity because x1 will come one time x2 will come two times x3 will come three times this thing so, this that is it we have proved that this inequality is true because just if you bring the root this side left hand side is this thing k into x k upon n whole square. So, we have something sigma uh, k into x k upon n whole square is less than or equal to sigma k into x k square upon n. Just squaring on both sides. So, now if you bring the n square this side. So, n square is anyway just a constant. So, 1 n square n and n will get cancelled. So, we will be left with 1 n here. So, that gives us the required inequality. Now, the second inequality is very uh, obvious from the first because you see in both the inequalities first and second the left hand left hand part is going is same. If you see the right hand part the right hand part has been increased further because in inequality 2 k has been made k square. So, which is actually going to increase the value of this. So, that means this quantity is less than this and the second inequality the RHS of second inequality is still bigger. So, RHS 
of second. So, straight away we can say inequality 2 is also true. So, both 1 and 2 are true. 